family. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Peppa are having mugs of hot milk. <coughs> George comes running in wearing his space suit. George, why are you in that space suit? asks Daddy. You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> <coughs> George loves everything to do with space. <coughs> oh dear, George is trying to drink through his helmet. George! Cries Peppa. Take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <coughs> Peppa takes George's helmet off. <coughs> <laughs> That's better. It's bedtime, little ones, calls Daddy Pig. <coughs> Peppa and George are tucked up in bed. George likes to listen to his space mobile. Again. Sighs Pepper. It's boring. Space isn't boring, Pepper. It's full of wonderful stars, smiles Daddy Pig. I can't see anything, says Pepper, looking out of the bedroom window. It's easier to see the stars outside, explains Daddy Pig. If you put your coats on, we could go and see. <laughs> That one is the North Star, says Daddy Pig. Pepper sings a star song. North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> the stars are too far to get to by car, but they look closer through a telescope, replies Daddy. <laughs> Grandpa Pig has a telescope, says Mummy Pig. It's late but we can drive to his house just this once. Look, says Daddy, we're following the North Star. North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Mummy Pig rings the doorbell. What are you doing here? asks Grandpa. Could we take a look through your telescope, please? asks Mummy Pig. Very well, replies Grandpa. To the top of the house we go. <coughs> Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. <coughs> Here she is. Old Bess, says Grandpa Pig. Wow! gasps Pepper, seeing the telescope. Who's for the first look? asks Grandpa. Me, me, me! shouts Pepper. The North Star! cries Pepper. We sailors use that star to find our way home, explains Grandpa Pig. Daddy used it to find his way here. Pepper adds, smiling. <laughs> <laughs> now it is George's turn to look through the telescope. He can see a planet with rings. What else is in the sky? asks Pepper. George can see the planet Saturn says Grandpa. What is Saturn like? cries Pepper. <laughs> Saturn has rings made of rock and ice, and it is very, very cold, says Grandpa Pig. We could build a snowman, cries Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, look, Pepper, gasps Grandpa. It's a shooting star. You have to make a wish. That when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. Cheers, Peppa, happily. <coughs> Grunts, George. <laughs>, <laughs> Everyone laughs.
It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made an Easter egg hunt for Peppa and her friends. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in the garden, says Grandpa Pig. Are you ready to find them? Yes, Grandpa Pig, everyone says. Off you go then, says Grandpa Pig. But be careful not to step on my plants. We promise to be really careful, Grandpa, says Peppa. Peppa soon finds an egg hidden in a plant pot. I found one, shouts Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit finds an egg under a bush, and Freddy Fox finds another in a wheelbarrow. Everyone has found a chocolate egg. But what do we do now, Grandpa Pig? asks Rebecca Rabbit. You eat your eggs, of course, laughs Grandpa Pig. Did you enjoy your Easter egg hunt, children? asks Granny Pig. We found all the chocolate eggs, says Peppa. They're in our tummies now, adds Freddy Fox. Good, says Granny Pig. Now let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. But they're just boring chickens, Granny, says Peppa. They have eggs too, Peppa, says Granny Pig. Can we eat them? asks Freddy Fox. No, Freddy, laughs Granny Pig. The eggs are about to hatch. The baby chicks are hatching. Now the chicks have hatched, it really is Easter, says Granny Pig. Baby chicks! Pepper and her friends pretend to be baby chicks, and they all sing. I'm a little chick singing cheep, cheep, cheep. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I have a fluffy yellow head and some straw for my bed, and I jump up and down singing cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> it was the first day of the summer holidays. Peppa was playing in the garden with her friends. Peppa, what are you doing in the holidays? I'm going to the park to jump in muddy puddles. For my holiday, I'm going to the jungle. Ah! We're going to the desert. I'm going on holiday in the mountains. <laughs> I'm going to the South Pole to play with penguins. Peppa's friends were going on holidays all around the world. Peppa, George, time to go to the park, called Mummy Pig. We have to go now. Bye, everyone. See you after the holidays, shouted Peppa. It is time for Peppa to get ready to go. Can you help Peppa choose an outfit to wear to the park? That's Peppa's favourite red dress. Peppa is enjoying dressing up, but it's time for her to join her family outside. <coughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig were waiting in the car. <coughs> is everyone ready? said Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy Pig! shouted Peppa, George and Mummy Pig. Then let's go! cheered Daddy Pig. <laughs> the little car bounced along the road. It's fun to drive to the park in our car. I love our little car, said Peppa happily. Then, all of a sudden, the little car broke down. No good. It won't start, said Daddy Pig. Let's call for help. Hello? Hello, this is an emergency, said Mummy Pig. Our car has broken down. Hold on, don't panic. I'm on my way. 
Soon, Miss Rabbit's emergency breakdown service arrived. Hello, everyone! Shouted Miss Rabbit. That was quick, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh dear! This car doesn't sound good, said Miss Rabbit. Oh, we wanted to go to the park, said Peppa. Don't worry, Peppa. While I fix your car, you can borrow my aeroplane," said Miss Rabbit. Everybody climbed into Miss Rabbit's aeroplane. Everybody ready? Asked Mummy Pig. Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig! Shouted everyone. Then let's go. Could we visit my friends on their holidays all around the world? Asked Peppa. Oh, I don't see why not," said Mummy Pig. Danny Dog was enjoying his mountain holiday. This is the life, eh, Danny? Shouted Captain Dog. Yes, Daddy, it's great," said Danny. "What's that noise?" Daddy Pig landed the aeroplane on the top of the mountain, right in front of Danny and Captain Dog. Well done, Daddy Pig," said Mummy Pig. "Hello, Danny!" shouted Peppa from the top of the mountain. "Hello, Peppa!" shouted Danny Dog. "We're flying around the world to see my friends," explained Peppa. If you shout on top of a mountain, you might hear an echo. Peppa wants to hear her voice echo across the mountains. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Peppa thinks she can see three different birds. Can you spot them all? That's one, two, three. Yes, you spotted all of the different birds. Oh, oh! Well, we can't stand around here all day," said Daddy Pig. Bye. Bye. Where next?" asked Daddy Pig. Shouted Susie. Susie, I missed you. Shouted Peppa. Me too. It's lovely here. There are so many penguins. Said Susie. <coughs> Peppa and Susie were so pleased to see each other again. Susie wants to show Peppa what she's found at the South Pole. <coughs> Susie has found a big hole in the ice. Can you help Pepper find out what's inside? <coughs> penguins. Are there any more penguins hiding in the hole? Can you count them all? <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow! Look at all these penguins. <coughs> Can you help three penguins jump back into the water? One, two, three. Well done. Uh oh, one of the penguins has stolen Susie's woolly hat. Can you get it back for her? Susie is happy to have her hat back. She was very cold without it. Peppa had lots of fun with Susie and the penguins, but they couldn't play all day. Bye, Susie. See you after the holidays. Bye, Papa. Where next? Asked Daddy Pig. Ah! 
Mummy Pig pulled the handbrake. The plane fell through the trees, landing on the ground with a bump. <laughs> ah! Pedro! Shouted Pepper. Are you having a nice holiday? Yes, it's brilliant in the jungle. There are parrots, monkeys, and everything. Said Pedro Pony. Pedro is looking for monkeys. They are hiding in the trees and the bushes. Can you help Pepper and Pedro spot three naughty monkeys? That's one monkey. Two more to find. That's two monkeys. One more to go. Well done. You helped Pepper and Pedro find the hidden monkeys. Look, lots of other monkeys have popped up to say hello too. <laughs> Pedro loves parrots. Pepper thinks she can make a parrot fly over to Pedro if he stands very still. Can you help Pepper make the parrot fly? <laughs> Pedro likes parrots, but maybe not on his head. They have very pointy feet. <laughs> Pedro thinks Peppa should try swinging on the vines before she leaves the jungle. Swinging on vines is lots of fun. The jungle was fun, but there were no muddy puddles to jump in. We'd better be on our way," shouted Daddy Pig. "Bye bye, Pedro," said Peppa. "Bye bye, Peppa," said Pedro. "Where next?" asked Daddy Pig. Emily and Edmund Elephant are on holiday in the desert. Looking at lizards. Ooh, interesting," said Edmund Elephant. <whistles> It wasn't easy to land an aeroplane in the desert. Hello, Peppa," said Emily. "Hello, Emily," said Peppa. "We're flying around the world, visiting everyone." We were just studying a rare and very shy lizard, but it's run away now," said Edmund sadly. "It had a scaly back and a long red tongue," said Emily. "Can we help you find it again?" asked Peppa. Suddenly, the lizard appeared behind a rock. "There, there it is!" shouted Daddy Pig, frightening it away again. Can you help Emily and Peppa find three more lizards? Lizards like to hide under rocks. That's one. Can you find two more? No lizards under this rock. No lizards under this rock. That's two. Only one more to find. No lizards there. No lizards there. Peppa has found all three lizards. Emily is very happy. The sand in the desert is very hot to stand on. Emily has a good way to cool her feet down. It's called the desert dance. Going, Peppa's feet are cooling down already. One more move. <laughs> That's much better. The desert was lots of fun, but Peppa wanted to go somewhere cooler.
Miss Rabbit should have fixed our car by now, said Mummy Pig. Oh, goody! That means... <coughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've flown all around the world, said Peppa. Lucky I filled the plane up with petrol this morning, said Miss Rabbit. Have you mended our car? asked Mummy Pig. Yes, replied Miss Rabbit. Everybody climbed inside the little car, ready to drive to the park. Bye! Bye. All those places around the world were nice, but something was missing. Said Peppa. What's that, Peppa? Asked Daddy Pig. Muddy puddles! Shouted Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and George loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everybody loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> the end. It is Christmas Eve, and Pepper, George, and all their friends are aboard the Christmas elf train. Toot toot! They are on their way to Santa's grotto. Everyone is very excited. Ho ho ho! Chuckles Santa. I hope you've all been good. He makes a list of what everyone would like for Christmas. George would like a racing car. Pepper. Would like a doll. Pepper and her family are spending Christmas with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig has an important job for them. You can stir the Christmas pudding, and don't forget to make a wish. It is great fun. Next, Peppa and George decorate the Christmas tree. They add lots of colourful lights and shiny baubles. Oh! Everyone gasps. The tree looks beautiful. Soon it is bedtime. I hope Santa knows where Granny and Grandpa live, whispers Peppa before she falls asleep. Of course, smiles Mummy Pig. He's been here lots of times before. Ho, ho, ho! It is lunchtime on Christmas Day. This Christmas pudding is delicious, snorts Mummy Pig. I wonder what you wished for when you were stirring it, Pepper. It is time to open the presents. George has got a racing car, brum brum, but there is nothing under the tree for Peppa. Santa has forgotten me, says Peppa sadly. Santa is on his way home in his sleigh when he spots something at the bottom of his sack. Oh, gasps Santa, there is one last present that he hasn't delivered. So Santa makes one more stop before he goes home. Here's your present, Pepper. Chuckles Santa, tumbling down the chimney. Pepper is very happy. My Christmas pudding wish has come true. She giggles. 
I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And he has. Hooray for Santa! It is a lovely... It is a lovely autumn day, and Pepper and George are getting ready for their Halloween party. First, they scoop out a pumpkin to make a lantern. Then Mummy Pig fixes a candle inside and lights it. Oh, lovely, sighs Pepper. Mummy and Daddy Pig help Pepper and George put on their costumes. Pepper is a witch, and George is a dinosaur. Hehehe, <laughs> Pepper cackles. Very witchy, says Mummy Pig. Dinosaur, grrr, growls George. Pepper and George's friends have arrived. Everyone is wearing a spooky Halloween costume. Suddenly they hear a howl. Howl! What was that? asks Pepper. Only me, says Danny Dog. I'm a werewolf. Pepper notices that Emily Elephant has a green face. What are you, Emily? she asks. I'm an alien, bloop, 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 she replies, laughing. And Edmund is a ghost. Actually, I'm a paranormal apparition, corrects Edmund. That's a clever clock's ghost. Daddy Pig appears at the door. Welcome to the party, everyone, he booms. Come and have some pumpkin pie. Inside, the house is decorated with balloons, cobwebs and hanging toy bats. Even Madame Gazelle has come to the Halloween party. Hello, says Susie Sheep. I've come as a vampire. Ah, a vampire, sighs Madame Gazelle. That reminds me of home. How strange. Madame Gazelle doesn't seem to have a reflection in the mirror. Daddy Pig puts on some music for everyone to dance to. I love pumpkin pie, says Daddy Pig. I love dressing up, says Susie Sheep. Everyone loves pumpkin parties, says Pepper. <laughs> <laughs>